Welcome to the Collectors of the Coast, and Merry Christmas. I am Cash. And I'm Dash. <laughs> Dash the Christmas Elf. Uh, and uh, today we are doing a video. We got all kinds of stuff in this one. Uh, we are going to talk about some new amazing cards first. Uh, we got collect. We got guess the cards. Uh, we're opening up some cool packages and things we've gotten and announcing a Christmas uh, bundle for the channel. Uh, first, let's talk about Sorelf the Realm Eater. Uh, it is a one, a black, and a green. He is an awesome looking uh, wolf, and the new art is amazing, right? Yeah, and he does. And whenever an opponent control, whenever a permanent an opponent controls is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a one one counter on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, if, if it has one or more one one counters on it, you may remove all of them. If you do. Exile each other non-land permanent with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of counters removed this way. Right, so he's going to be a fun card to try to break. Um, I actually, they, they, they've made the uh, the fancy art more prominent, and I actually think I might like the regular art. I might even like the regular art better. It's pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Um, but yeah, a 3-3 three, three just for uh, for 3 used to be pretty good, actually, and uh, so now we're seeing like the you know power, insane power creep. Uh, fun card. I don't think he's going to be a massive card. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people are seeing some shenanigans they can do. Um, but uh, he looks pretty cool, and uh, I mean, wolves. There's been some pretty good wolves around uh, in relatively recent times. Are they still in standard? Were they, or I think they were core 2020. It was a big thing, right? Um, another one that they gave a more clear image on uh, that looks pretty cool is uh, Lathril. Okay, elf. That's enough. Uh, Lath Lathril blade of the elves. Uh, we talked about him in the last, and, and so elves are looking really awesome. I'm looking forward to elves. And I'm wondering with this dark elf kind of theme uh, that they're going with, is this gonna is this gonna sort of be finished when we get to the uh, uh, the um, Forgotten Realms set, the D and D set? Um, they're gonna have. Can you stop, please? Sure. Uh, and uh, and so when they when they get into that, there's some really cool dark elves from that lore. So I wonder if they're gonna sort of finish up with this dark green and black elves around then, and if elves aren't gonna be a really relevant. Uh, super tribal set, so uh, super fun card to play. Uh, and then the last you didn't one. You even say what he does. I already talked about him. Oh. All right, uh, one that was new. He's the other. I think he's the other uh, front on one of the uh, other decks that are the pre-made planeswalker, whatever they are decks. Ranar the Ever Watchful, uh, Flying Vigilance. He is two three for uh, two and a white and a blue. Uh, the first card you foretell each turn costs zero to foretell. So, uh, what does foretell even mean? I don't know. Okay. So whenever you exile one or more cards from your hand, and uh, probably and or permanents from the battlefield, create a one one spirit creature token with flying. So interesting to play. Um, so those are the three new ones. Uh, probably most excited about Lathril, to be honest, the Blade of the Elves. I'm I'm looking forward to the shenanigans we can get into with elves. All right. Okay. Focus, man. Kid cannot focus for three minutes. All right. Uh, so we are going to uh, talk now about the. We're going to talk now about the. The uh, what do we got here? We've got a winner. Uh, back a couple weeks ago, I mentioned uh, we will do a draw from a throne of Eldraine. We can't see your face in that, buddy. It's down too low. Can't see your cute face. All right. Uh, and so we drew for a Throne of Eldraine pack. Anyone who made a comment on that video, there was 27 of you. As I counted, the winner was and You did. Uh, anyway, we did it together. The winner was uh, number 26 on our list, which was Andrew, Andrew Dicker. Dicker. So, uh, Andrew, you won. So in a second, we're going to go through this, um, and we're going to talk about a couple other things as well. So we're going to flip the camera around. Uh, oh, we'll do the Guess the Card clue while we're before we flip it around. Uh, guess the Card clue. Uh, we did guess the card. Uh, we went on guess the card. Uh, what is it? Commander Legends. You guys haven't gotten it so far. I'm gonna go back through the comments. Maybe you have, and I missed it. Uh, but uh, we gave it was not. We gave it was. Dude, you're just being distracting. Thank you. All right, kids all over the place. All right. Uh, so Commander Legends. Uh, we got down to the fact that it is a sorcery. Now, what was the clue we were gonna give? It's blue, it's a sorcery, and it costs three or less. Three or less. So if you guys don't get it this time, we are keeping the cards. Uh, once even... again, it's like a $100 card in there. I don't know. No, I don't remember what it is. Uh, it is not a... Jeweled Lotus is not in the pack, uh, if you guys are thinking that. So, uh, anyways. Jeweled Lotus isn't even in the set. 
Commander Legends? Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was... It was As we finished opening our, like, 18th box a couple days ago, he doesn't remember Jewel Lotus, even though we pulled seven I of them. I thought it was in Zendikar Rising. Oh, my goodness. Where are you? All right. So Where we're going to flip the camera around, and we're going to get into some fun stuff. Actually, a bunch of fun stuff we're going to go through here, so uh, stick around. All right. So first, we're going to open up this throne pack. You want to do this one? Sure. All right. I'll open it. You, you display, okay? Okay. There we go. Don't care about too much about the commons. We've, we've been through Throne lots of times, but... Oh my god, can we pull something good for him? Sure. Hope so. All right, Eye Collector. collector. Love our Eye Collector. Iron Knight. All right. Overwhelmed Apprentice. Witch's Oven. Oh, Witch's Oven. Very playable. I think in time it's going to be worth a lot. There's been lots of them. We got a Mythic. Harmonious Archon. I don't even remember this card at it's all. It's not a big one, but it's probably a buck or two. Yeah. Cool. Hey, can't complain. Hey, I love that art. Love that. Love that. Love that swamp. Branna, you're jealous. It's a good swamp. All right, cool. Human cleric. I don't even remember that art. Who's that? Who's that dude? I feel like that's someone who works for a magic thing, for wizards or something. All right. Uh, I don't even know what Harmonious Archon does. So he's Flying cool. 4 5, when it. Non Archon creatures have base power and toughness 3 3, and when it enters the battlefield, create 2 1 1 white. Human creature tokens. All right. So next thing we want to announce, we're doing a little uh, promotion for Christmas time uh, on the channel. So uh, $20 is we're doing just this little, um, what do you call it, chaos pack, uh, four packs. In this case, we're, we figure we try to pick some interesting ones that spread it a little bit over time. Uh, we've got Ixalan. Uh, got some fun cards in there. we got got Amonkhet. Core set 2021, which we think is a little underrated set, and Zendikar yeah. Rising. Uh, so 20 bucks uh, shipped to you. We we typically just ship the uh, the rares and the uh, uncommons. Uh, and if there's any like full art lands, I think in you know, Amonkhet there's full art lands. Uh, Zendikar Rising also full art lands. So we'll send those as well. Uh, anyways, anything good that's worth you know more than five cents, we'll send out to you. Uh, five cents. So. Uh, it just cuts down on the shipping a little bit, and uh, I'm no one really generally wants to pay for the commons. Uh, and, you know, you're welcome to them, but you gotta give me a couple of extra bucks for shipping. So, anyway, so that's exciting. If you are interested, uh, message us at collectors of the coast at gmail dot com, or come on our Discord or Facebook or anything like that. We're pretty easy to find. So, uh, we've got a little package here, and this came from Kill, uh, and he sent us some kind of cool stuff. Uh, so we want to thank him for that. So we got a little Christmas card, which was really sweet of him. Uh, wishing you a happy Christmas. Uh, so I'm going to go through that. He sent us this. Uh, I actually, I don't what? think we were playing when this came out. So this is an arena. This is a, an arena land. The arena lands are very expensive. Seventeen or nineteen ninety. Yeah. So the arena lands are actually very expensive. So this, this is the giant version of an arena land. Now this arena lands are worth a ton of money. So uh, Can't he we also sell this? he also sent us some Ooh. nice. Some nice uh, card sleeves, so pretty happy about that. So pretty nice stuff. And then the card. I want to read the card. The card just says, like, Merry Christmas. I literally showed it already. All right. Oh. So anyways, want to say thanks to uh, Kale for that. That's really sweet of you. Mm -hmm. uh, very nice that we uh, that you did that for us. Um, next one. I got another thing here. So Dash was wondering what these were. Um, I just really like these lands. Uh, these aren't foil or anything like that, but this is just, I know this is, these aren't even that old. Yeah, I just like the so land. Cool. Um, so I got, someone was, was selling them, they weren't too much money, they were just a couple bucks. Uh, but uh, I really love this island, so I got a little pack of them. Uh, pretty fun stuff. Right, love yeah. that with the with the building in there and the and the, the water all around. So thought that was really cool too. Um, so we're going to do one last thing here in this video. Um, I promised Dash that we would open a Commander Legends. Can I open it? Make you a deal here. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. Wait, how about you open the commons and uncommons, and and I open the rares and mythics? Uh, no, I got the, I got the token. There's only one pack. All right, you get the first card. First card. Hey, ah! you show everything. <laughs> you gotta show the first card. I right, hold it up. All right, I got the second card. And then I get the third card. <laughs> third card. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got our Millery Spear. That's a playable card. All right. Universal Solvent. Okay. All right, we're into the Uncommons. You Burning have... Anger. No. First response. Emoti. Oh, you have him in a deck. He played him this morning against me. He's pretty good. He got crushed, didn't he? All right, All yes. Haru. No! Got a Bio Waste. All right. Yes. Uh-oh. 
she gave something away. And I... Oh, come on! You get the mythic! But I get returned to dust. We got... This one is, like, the worst mythic in the set, I think, by value. So... It is cool, though. It is a it is a mythic full art. We will always take a mythic full art. All What's right. this? Come on. Come on! Oh, you get the... You get the cooler cards! It's just a rare. Obeka, though. Obeka's pretty good. Anyone looking for Obeka? I think I have a couple of them. If anyone wants one, we can uh, make a deal or something. You got the so. better cards. You think so? Yeah. You got a mythic. So, you got um, two mythics. So just a just a brief discussion here I wanted to actually have at the end of the video. Um, so the uh, there's been a lot of like flashy cards come out over the last year, year and a half. Right, Dash? Yes. Um, and um, they are really fun. Um, but I just kind of urge people to, to think about actually the quality of the cards. Um, what... Right? Uh, the quality of the cards. What cards are actually good versus are they flashy, right? We have new flashy borders coming out again mm -hmm. uh, in the next set. Um, so I really hope they bring out Throne of Eldraine 2. Throne of Eldraine 2? Me too, but it won't be for a while. So okay. anyways, there's flashy borders coming out. There's always a new set of bling in every new set. What do you um, mean bling? Well, this so like this set had these flashy this these things in them. Yeah. Right? Um, and the set before it, what did it have? Had box topper lands. Yeah. Right? Set before that, Godzilla. Yeah. Or uh, there was Corset 2021 was in there as well. Godzilla. Uh, so there's, there's always some, going to be some blingy pull in every set. Um, so just, just... I mean, Kaladesh was like the fetch cards. Yeah, yeah, back way back then. Uh, Throne of Eldraine was the first collector packs, and they had the, the storybook boards. And it was, there's always going to be a pull on all of these sets. And... Um, I would just, you know, I just urge you to kind of take a step back and, and, and kind of stay calm about the new stuff because, you know, it comes out, we get all excited, uh, and that's, that's what they're trying to do, obviously, is obviously excite us to sell product, um, but there's going to be more. Um, they're not going to run out. Um, I know some of the things we've run out of, but uh, things like uh, some of this product they're printing lots of, like the Zendikar Rising, for instance. There is, it's a, it's a core set. They're, they're going to, the regular packs, there's going to be lots of them around. Uh, not going to be hard to get. Commander Legends regular boxes, not going to uh, not be around. They're going to be, they're going to be reasonably easy to get for quite a while. Maybe the collector box is a little harder. Uh, but anyways, if you're going to buy stuff, pick, when you're buying stuff, just pick your spots. Okay? Who got more money? Tell us in the comments below. Don't care. Don't care. Um, I'm guessing he won. So... Um, all right. So, anyways, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Uh, my Christmas elf here, Dash. We had fun today. Everyone, have a magical day. Bye. Thank you for watching Collectors of the Coast. Please subscribe and like below. If you like our content, please consider becoming a patron. Uh, patrons help us grow the channel, uh, and we, uh, I'll get great deals and more. Uh, check us out on Discord if you'd like to become a part of the community. The information to join the Discord is in the description below.